Hello everyone, VJZ Freddy back here today with another review. Today we're looking at something a little bit different than I've actually reviewed years ago because I had this deck previously before giving it away, but now it's back. It is the Sleeman, notoriously good deck. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, a bit of a different deck today. It's the one I previously had, I previously did a review on. It's on my channel, I do believe, somewhere. I think it's, I had the review on it. I uh, will try to do a better review on it this time. I got this originally, not this specific deck, but the same deck, uh, years ago from someone I used to know. Um, I, I assume he got it in a case of beer. And it actually came in a metal tin, which I do have the metal tin case somewhere. I eventually gave away the deck because it's, well, it's not USB-C quality, so I figured, eh, we'll part with it. But recently, after looking at it again, I decided I wanted it. And I tried looking online, it wasn't very successful. Then yesterday I happened to jump into the uh, thrift store, the Salvation Army, and I saw this. And I'm like, geez, that's what, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Done. Sold. <laughs> Front, of course, says Sleeman. Sleeman is a beer company in Canada. Pretty good beer. Had it, you know, in the past. It says, notoriously good since 1834, is it? Indeed, and you see a group of figures here, which you'll see on the court cards and jokers. They're all kind of related to the history, except for Al Capone. He's just there for the hell of it. <laughs> um, and that's what you see in the back design. So it's a one-way back design. It says playing cards on one side and the other. Nothing on top. Nothing on the bottom. It's all ripped up because opening this up is a pain in the rear end. <laughs> the back is the same as the front. And I actually fixed it so you can open it better by... Folding in the flaps. On the flap, you get the Sleeman logo. And then we get to the cards. You get two Jokers, which feature John W. Sleeman. I'm actually going to look at the one. Holding up a beer. Uh, it says Joker in black. The other one's in red. Uh, it says that his aunt gave him the historical bottle and the family recipe book. And he wished everything to restart the family brewery. And the rest is history. I really look at the back design, it's in that kind of a beer color, if you will. It says Sleeman, it says Notoriously Good since 1844. If that wasn't enough of a one-way, try flipping it over. It's even more of a one-way because it's like they're looking in a mirror. It's like somebody said, we got to make this mirror image. So they did. They made it as if you're looking in a mirror, <laughs> like a mirror reflection. That's not what they meant by mirror image on a playing card. The aces have pirate Sleeman. It's a pirate. And it says that the swastmarking pirates of the high seas, or the early ancestors, were named Slymen. On land, they opened taverns and became Sleemen. So that's an interesting little backstory. The king, it, all the kings are the same. It's John H. Sleeman, the founder, who came to Canada with a burning desire to succeed and a passion for brewing great beer in 1844, and the rest is history. And I'm guessing. He is the father of John W. Sleeman, but I'm not 100% certain. Didn't look that up. The Queens have the Philanderer, which is, I mean, he's hanging out with some chicks. And you'll see all these are on the same people on the back design. And it says that, well, George Sleeman, one of the two, I'm not sure, obviously, uh, George Sleeman. Well, Never mind, he's not one of the figures I, I'm not thinking properly. George Sleeman went on to become the first mayor of Guelph, which is a city in Ontario. His brother enjoyed the spoils of being a successful brewer's son, if you know what I mean. What we mean, huh? And yeah, he's definitely enjoying life. And then the jack is Al Capone. Uh, it says that under, uh, hidden under vegetable cards, Sleeman beer was smuggled to the likes of Al Capone during the Prohibition, but hey, we didn't see nothing. <laughs> And all, all the jacks are, of course, Al Capone. All the queens are that. All the kings are that. All the aces are that. And the tens actually have some argument as well. It is the gratuitous girl. She was used in advertising years ago on commercials on TV. Her and other similar women, sexy women in bikinis, advertising, selling beer. It seems to happen a lot in Canadian beer commercials and American ones, I'm sure. Not officially a part of the Sleeman family, but she did play a role in Sleeman's notoriously good commercial, and we bet no one's complaining. No, not really. <laughs> the number cards, interesting idea for the freeze. 
Custom pips, a little border detail along the top and the bottom. Fairly straightforward. This one's got some damage. I actually noticed that this one as well, there's a bit of damage there as well. I don't know who the printer is. It's a smooth plastic coated finish. It suffles okay. It's pretty thin stock from what it feels like. It doesn't handle the greatest, no, it doesn't fan the greatest. But it's okay for what it is. I said smooth plastic coated stock. Some printing problems apparently. Uh, with some of the cards as we noticed. But yeah, that is that. For what it is, it's an interesting deck. I don't know if I would, you know, rate this deck. Um, so we won't. It's just an, inter an interesting advertising deck. It'll be on my advertising playlist. That is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.